What's going on 5.9 Gaming Crew, Letho went up here, and guys, I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the brand new Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. I traded in my original Switch, which was, I think it was the day one Switch, uh, towards this, um, you know, the new OLED Switch over at GameStop. If you don't know, they did a little promotional deal where you get a guarantee $200 as long as, you know, obviously everything is working properly of trading credit towards the brand new Switch, and that's what I did. I usually do that, uh, at least for like my Nintendo devices. I don't seem to ever wanna like, keep some of them, at least like unless it's like a Game Boy. I think I still like my Game Boy because that's super nostalgic to me. But the Switch for me, I was like, you know what? No problems trading in my Switch. But let's jump into it because I'm really excited. I want to see it for myself. I'm going to go and just, you know, show you guys a little bit of the box. This is the front, obviously, right? Nintendo Switch, OLED. The box is doing the job for me, letting you know this is now a 7 inch OLED screen. 64 gigabyte system memory instead of the 32. The dock with the LAN port because the LAN port is gonna be such a big thing, I think, going into this next generation of Switch. Um, it's about time they edit that anyways. And then adjustable stand. Now, I don't really use the stand often, so I'm kind of curious to see if the stand will mean, I guess, that much to me, I guess. Uh, but we'll, we're gonna see. Again, I don't really use it, but I mean, it's gonna be cool to see in comparison to the last stand, which everybody knows the last stand was absolutely dog crap. So we're gonna see how this new one looks. Tabletop mode, TV mode, and then handheld mode. I guess tabletop mode would, right, would be the other mode you would use, if anything. Now, the 7-inch screen, maybe with tabletop, with that new stand, maybe that little combination alone might be like, okay, now I kind of want to start playing it more in tabletop mode. I've been seeing a lot of reviewers say that the 7-inch screen does feel like it's a much bigger uh, difference than they thought it was going to be in comparison to the previous, I think it was a 6.2-inch screen. Oh, my God. That looks just like, it really does look just like the last Switch. <laughs> uh, let me take out the Joy-Cons first here. Now, of course, the Joy-Cons are not different. I shouldn't say that. Uh, according to a recent publication, uh, there was a recent, I think, interview with the N Nintendo development team, I think, of the new Switch, uh, that said that, you know, they've worked on the Joy-Cons themselves. And so I think these are supposed to be probably the newest, like, iteration of Joy-Cons. And so hopefully, you know, that means they, they said they've tested and, you know, they've worked on, they've listened to feedback about the Joy-Con drift and whatnot. Hopefully, um, you know, this won't have that. I mean, I guess we'll find out over time. Ooh, the white is nice. I mean, um, but I mean, yeah, that's that's a good thing. I mean, the, the Joy-Cons look really good. Man, do I just jump right into the, the main thing? Hold on. Ooh, this. Oh, my God. You can you can tell. Yeah, you can't see it from here, but obviously I can already tell the bezels. It's much better in comparison to the last one. Uh, we're gonna hold off on the main thing because that's obviously that's the main point here. I'm gonna remove this piece right here. Uh, okay, we have our cables, the HDMI. Ooh, is this the power adapter? Okay. Let me see what's back here. The uh, I want to see if this is any different. This is like the uh, the controller grip. Okay, nope. Yeah, that's pretty much the same. All right, that's, again, that's the main stuff. It's literally the same package contents. Now, this is what's different, and I can already tell I forgot the back design is different. Okay. Oh yeah, this looks already so much better. The logo looks so much better. The new top part here looks so much better than the last dock design. Now I've already seen reviewers talking about the uh, the back part, so I'm gonna show it right here. It comes off completely this time. And I think they said that because they saw a lot of studies or, or lots of studies and reports suggesting that a lot of Switch owners were just leaving the back pieces, which was this piece right here. They were just leaving it off or not leaving it off, but leaving it down completely. And so they kind of left it off optional. You know, do you want to keep it? You know, do you want to keep it down or do you want to, you know, keep it off? So I kind of like this idea. I also like the fact that they have a cool little design now when you do put it back in. I like this here. It not only, I think, like appearance wise looks a lot better, but also it's probably going to help more for the wires instead of having just that singular spot there. Um, I guess we'll see. Now, the thing is that this still looks really skinny. I can only imagine putting still all the wires, the land the HDMI, the power adapter, it still feels kind of small, but I mean, I guess, I guess we'll see, right? You got the uh, adapter part, HDMI, and then the LAN. Let me see if I can show you the inside. Uh, uh, there you go. What's cool is, as a reminder, that this new dock 
it does uh, have the ability now to get updates for whatever reason that's going to mean. I guess we'll find out, you know, more about that at some point. All right, I guess real quickly now we could just get to the main piece here. Oh God, here we go. Here's the back and I can already sell the new, uh, what's it called? The new um, stand already. It looks really good. <laughs> Let me see I can get you the back or not the back, the front now. Oh my God, that looks really good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that that quality looks so much better. Let me see, the, let's see if we can get some kickstand action here. Let me also flip it around. Oh, that feels better. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. That, that, goes, that goes far down. Yeah, that's as far as it goes, so you can see. No, that actually looks good. I actually can't believe how far back that goes down. In comparison to the prior one that would just break the moment you put it too far back or whatever, it this is actually a much bigger improvement. So you can still see the micro SD slot right in the back here. So that's where the micro SD slot goes. It goes underneath the actual kickstand. That's the top there. Looks nice. The volume rocker, the power, the uh, headphone, uh, headphone jack where you put the games in. All right, I mean, I guess the final part right at this point, it's gonna be to pretty much uh, just turn it on. See if we can notice this together. Oh my God, that looks really good. That black, holy crap. Yeah, the black looks really good. Oh God, that just feels so good. Wow, the red, oh my God, it is so red. You, It's gonna be so hard for you guys to tell that. Holy crap, yeah, the color vibrancy I can already tell is insane. Oh my god, the screen looks so much better. But I, you can, uh, see, it's, whole, it's again, I, I knew it, it's gonna be really hard for you guys to really see it. Um, but the actual colors really do pop out. I'm trying to get a good angle so you can see the colors, but maybe it's just me, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just going through a new console, you know, feels good. But at the same time, I can I can honestly say the colors so far do look a lot better. And this isn't even at full peak brightness yet. Let me see this. Oh, that's so much better. I can't stand white. Much better. Oh yeah, look at the colors. All right. I mean, again, it's it's gonna be almost impossible, I guess. A little bit hard just to try to show you guys that, you know, fully through the camera. So, I mean, we'll maybe we'll figure something out, but let us know your thoughts down below. Are you gonna be getting the brand new OLED switch or are you just gonna hold off? I mean, again, at the end of the day, this is all cool, but I mean, if you're just using this always in the uh, dock, right, and you don't even care for handheld, there's no point in upgrading. I mean, to be fair, you know, now of course there's always gonna be rumors that are going out talking about already, you know, we're already getting, supposed to be getting a brand new switch again, maybe the next year or two for that 4K because that's still becoming a thing. And so at the end of the day, Here's my thoughts. If you don't have a Switch, you're looking to get into it and you really want to get into it now, buy it. This is what you're going to want to start off with. I can promise you that. Unless unless you just don't care for like the dock and stuff like that, then maybe look at the Switch Lite. But if I were you, you're already going to be spending the money. You're brand new. Boom, I would just get this one. Now, if you're looking for looking to upgrade and you have, let's say, the, the, the Switch that I had, right? Like the day one adopters, like the first generation one, and you never got that battery upgrade that apparently the battery upgrade came out with like the second generation of the original line. If you're like me and you're definitely gonna be a handheld user, in my opinion, so far at least, I think it's definitely kind of worth an upgrade. Now again, I have to play games on here, but just seeing it from, from this alone, the bezels feel so much better than the last one. And again, the vibrancy, in fact, hold on, can we put the brightness up? That's something that I would like to have shown real quick. That's not even peak brightness. Oh, that looks great. Oh, see, it sucks because the way you guys are getting it, it looks really gray. But on my end here, it's black. It looks a lot, it looks a lot better. But that's just, you know, unfortunately, it's just how you guys are going to see it from this video aspect. But again, uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up video to let you know overall what we thought. Because um, I think I'm not the only one getting the uh, Switch OLED. I think some other members of Five Nine are going to be getting it too. So, you know, we'll, we'll probably put something together and give us, and give you guys more of like a finalized thought on everything. But here's the unboxing. Again, let us know about uh, if you're going to be getting the Switch OLED. Uh, any questions, drop it down below in the comment section. Again, I'm Lethal1Up. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.